Will you let me enter the rank? Oh, I guess you can. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Alright, cool. Just have to be here before 11. No, I think you can walk in now. Oh. I mean, I'm kind of hurt. I guess I could just top him off here real quick. I don't know if it full heals you or not. Eh, I mean, it's two items. Sure. Uh, wait until 10 o'clock. Oh. Alright. Whenever that is. What does Metal Greymon say again? Uh, I think he gives you a title? A hero nickname. Master Mastermind Beefy. I like it. Interesting. I like it. <laughs> oh. Any idea when 10 o'clock is? Because uh. I thought it was supposed to be in the uh, purple there. Ish? We found the UFO. Is this an alien? Yeah, we've read everything. Okay. Yeah. Mr. M! Burning Lake. There's a UFO. And Bannett's gone. Alright. Yeah, fair enough. I think it's gonna be 10 in like an hour? I don't know. I think it's currently 9, if I'm reading the clock correctly. Also, you probably already knew this, but Digitamamon is the final cook. Ah, huh. he makes egg bake dishes. So, uh, I think he's really interesting in that all the stat gains from his dishes, I think, are randomized. Interesting. I don't know to like what extent or anything. Came here and left at the light of speed. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's still somewhere in the city, though. It's now at 100%. Yeah. There's nothing more I can say. It's fantastic. Tamer level went up. And I got a medal. As you deserved. Yay. What do you have to say? Thank you so much. Cool. Oh, uh, no. Uh, side note. You can actually save your Digimon current stats and moves and everything to that device there. Uh, to battle against friends' as Digimon on other memory cards. Oh, interesting. So, pretty much just saves a snapshot of your Digimon. But Tim, did you know that there's an invisible bridge at the Great Canyon? I did not. Thank you for letting me know. You're welcome, Tim. You having fun? Good, because you're kind of clipping. <laughs> you need to poop. I mean, what else is new? <laughs> yeah. But yes, we have successfully made the bestest city. It is the biggest and best city, full of all of the Digimon, every single one of them. There are no more Digimon. At least that are friendly. <laughs> uh, no, not canceling. Wait until 10, when the heck is 10 o'clock? I don't know. You don't have I don't any have any fish. Oh, thank. No, you don't. No, I don't. Okay. I mean, you have some fish in the bank if you really want to curl. <laughs> Those seats are for guests, Never not for champions. There. Yeah. I could go get meat. Haven't got my meat today. <laughs> we are quickly running out of things to do. Well, he won't let me go fight. It's got to be coming up here pretty quick. I know. If it's not going to be this coming hour, then it'll be the one right after that. Theoretically, the sun directly down at 6 o'clock, theoretically, should be 12. Yes. Since it's a 24-hour clock for some godforsaken reason. Right. So directly down should be noon. Directly top should be midnight. Theoretically. I have played this game many times and I still have no idea how the clock actually functions. Which means directly to the right should be 6 a.m. and directly to the left should be 6 p.m. and we should be able to extrapolate from there. But who knows? Are you going to let me in? 
They let me in. Okay, cool. Things don't quite line up the way you expect them to. Grade B tournament. Oh, I'm going to destroy everything here. I thought Platinum Sukumon was an ultimate, not a champion. Huh. Well, it's still I mean, early in the cycle. I mean, Sukumon is a champion, and Platinum is just an alternate coloring, so... Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure in all future entries of this series, uh, Platinum Sukumon is considered an ultimate. He definitely isn't in uh, World 2. Oh, really? Yeah, he's a champion. Oh, well, maybe I'm just crazy. Uh, yeah, all of our stats are literally double. Okay. I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> if you say so. You having some fun humping the air there, friend? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep punching. I'm just gonna punch you out. Having fun? You enjoying this? This is what you came to see? Please stop. Just getting wrecked. <laughs> this is getting embarrassing. I feel like this is. I feel like this is just bullying at this point. No. <laughs> Bad. Well then. Get down from there. Welcome to tournament time. That's dangerous. Come down. Sit. You almost got the finisher off, though. Yeah. He would have hit me if I tried. You know he would have. I know. You might be forced to use it final match. I might be. Because that MP not looking so hot. Yeah, and I don't know how much... I feel like there's a little bit of restoration between battles, but I don't know how much. Well, we're about to find out. Yeah, fair. Oh my god. Platinum Sukumon. How is he winning? He's poop. Because he has like 5,000 HP. Oh, huh, that's fair. They just run out of MP before they beat him. <laughs> Looking at all these bars makes me want to go and play Mega Man Legends. Does it? Well, one day we can. Too bad they... yeah. Yeah, I love... I really enjoyed Legends. Uh, Legends 2 was an interesting take. Not uh, interesting in a bad way, though. No, it was just very different. Uh, but I, again, wouldn't say that that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, and then, of course, unfortunately, there was no Legends 3, which is sad. Although there's been several fans that have tried to, like, make the, like, taking the files that were supposedly out there for it and whatever, <laughs> but you kind of have to take all those things with a grain of salt. Yeah. Who knows how much of it was real and who, how much of it is just fan game. Alright, how much of a stall, stalling asshole is this Sukumon gonna be? Uh... Not even remotely. Alright. How did you win? Literally the ones in the wild are tougher. Yep, so we're just gonna potential up here as he covers the field in poop. One damage! Oh dear. Ah, oh, but I got dated. That's right, I'm doing more damage to you in data than you did to me. I like how we couldn't see our Digimon because it was a bad angle for 2D. That was beautiful. I just like to believe that it was he was hidden behind the poop. Nope, it was definitely just looking at our two-dimensional Digimon from the front. That was great. Knocked you out of your poop. You know what? No. DG Dimension. Finish this off in style. There we go. Did we just hover for a bit? I think we did. That was weird. He's got wings. That he was not flapping in the slightest. He's metal. He doesn't have to flap, he's a machine. I guess. He's got, like, hydraulics and aerodynamics and shit. <laughs> Yay. Oh, also in the sequel, 
this bluish purple form of Metal Greymon does make a return, as they do have recolors in that game. Oh, okay. I uh, got a Restore Floppy cool. and 6,000 bits. Cool, I guess. All right, and I need to poop. Well, that was the time. All right, neat. Here. Do we begin the hunt? Go poop on the floor. No, we should We should make an honest attempt at learning uh, Prominence Beam, because that's so much more entertaining. Yeah, we really do. We really should try and get it. So let's just slap a few battles on Vermilion Mon. Do you want to just skip it if it goes bad, or...? Uh, yeah. I think we'll just skip ahead probably to uh, fighting those guys, and I might, I don't know, fast forward or something. I also have to remember how to get there. Uh, you just literally fly to Dino Land oh, if they okay. have the option. If they don't, then you fly to the forest. Okay, fair enough. I think you can fly to Dino Land. I think so, too. And then you just ruin their days repeatedly. Yeah, we'll, we'll just skip ahead to either getting the move or getting fed up and leaving. <laughs> we'll see you then. Really, I think this is as good as it gets. Eh, uh, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, let's return to city and... Start hunting down the secret place. Alright, well, uh, turns out, yeah, we can't actually learn anything here. Uh, we were mistaken in what Metal Greymon can learn in terms of fire moves, and really, He only, uh, learns the bad ones. Yeah, really, uh, we already have the best moves he can get, frankly. Yes and no. Um, there is one... He can learn all the machine moves, but so many of them can only really reliably learn be learned from bosses. Yeah. Uh, really? There is one good one we can learn called All Range Beam from uh, the Garjermon in Factory Town towards the end, but it's not super mandatory. It wouldn't be enough of an upgrade for what we have now that I would say it's worth going for. Yeah. So we're just going to stock up, up some items here and head off on final dungeon hunting. So that's really the last thing to do in the game. Pretty much. So, Monochromon. At least we got a bunch of money for this. Uh, just get like 50. I uh, have to remember... <laughs> Not like that. I think you hold circle and do up and down. Yes, okay. I was thinking like left or right would do it. No, it's circle and up and down. Okay. And probably should do the same for yeah. MP. Might not actually have quite enough. Yeah. This will use all of my money. Well, we'll sell all of our medium MPs. Oh, I suppose we could, yeah. Or at least most of them. Or I could just get 40 of these. I guess. If you want to think of it that way, I guess. We have a ton of stuff we can sell. Yeah, we do. Uh, not gonna really need carrots or radishes anymore. Although I, I suppose it doesn't hurt to have them just as a buffer for yeah. sirloin. Uh, Mostly what I was thinking of would be like... Rain plant? <laughs> uh, Coca Claus? Debbie chips? You probably want to hang on to those just in case you want to revisit this game. Yeah. Just leave. You're fine. Yeah, honestly. See you. You're not going to need that much MP. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. So, let's start off by looking at Ogremon. Alright. And then we'll just kind of go through the options from there. And that's just fly to... Uh, Great Canyon. Great Canyon and go down. Well, you need to get to the elevator. Yeah. Great Canyon top and then I can just take the elevator down. Yeah. And we get assaulted by Digi Angry Digimon? Nope. 
All right, let's go through the. I'm pretty sure this is the elevator. Sure yep. is. Here we go. And if you can safely get to the end of Ogremon's Fortress without anything happening, it is not the place. Fair, I guess. I don't know exactly where it's supposed to transition, but it's just supposed to transition eventually. Also, it's having a time loading this. Yeah, it doesn't like this area very much. Fair enough. Apparently he needed the Dogermon, because he kind of abandoned it. Uh, down. Yes. Oh, they're going for you. They're coming for my butt. They don't care about Beefy, they just want the human. But Tim, there's a mushroom. Oh, goody. Just what I wanted. Ogre Fortress. Yeah, I don't know where the transition's supposed to happen. And we're asleep. Yeah, whatever. Fine. Uh, I would say don't save. Just on the off chance that he dies soon. Oh, okay. I don't expect that to happen. He shouldn't. I extremely don't expect that to happen, but... Because the double chip thing should have reset... Theoretically. Uh... Right. To the right. Because that's just treasure room. Oh. Fair enough. Yeah, because the double chip things should have been reset once he I is evolved. I don't think Ogre Fortress was the one that was selected. Yeah, it's not looking to be that way. No, let's autopilot out and check out the freeze place next, maybe. Okie doke. And if we can't get in there, well, then that obviously just leaves the final place. So I think I just want to just fly to freeze place and directly go up, isn't it? Uh, something like that. I can let you know. I don't remember how to get there. That was a you thing. <laughs> uh, no, you actually want to go bottom left. Oh, okay. Bottom left, then up left, and just continue on. Hold okay. down, down left. Aww, oh, it got ya. I feel like I was farther out than I usually am. That's weird. I feel like I'm usually further to the left than that. You are not taking very much damage. No, he does not exactly hurt me much. So this is an excellent example of how stats extremely matter. Yeah. And really do make a difference. Yep. It's an old RPG, basically. I mean, a little bit of stat buffs will make a whole lot of difference. Oh my god. Here. Eat your, eat your McRib. You're getting a little tired of beefy shit, aren't you? Oh, apparently, yes, There's yes, I. Well, oh, whatever. I'm very tired of his shit. I want it to go away immediately. That's why I'm giving him a toilet bowl. <laughs> and left and up. Left and up. I do enjoy the aesthetic of just random computer screen in the ground that yeah. points you in directions. And up. Huh. Really? You guys are even going to try? What's wrong with you? Everything. Clearly they just want to die. Everything is wrong with them. Apparently. Yep, there we go. Just... Really? I don't know. It didn't trigger on either one. That was weird. Wow, you guys have enough to f You have enough health to survive this? What's wrong with you? This is an endgame area. And again, one of them did not take any damage. He's blocked it twice. What the hell? Sometimes people get lucky. And sometimes they fight a... Metal Greymon. 
Which could really be called like Cyber Greymon or Andrew Grey. I don't know. I don't remember what the variation's called in the uh, well, sequel. Well, no, it's more of the fact that he's not made of metal. He's a cyborg. He's not a metal Greymon. He's a cyborg Greymon. <laughs> Actually, got the meat. I mean, it's meat. I can right. use it. Well, let's keep on tracking. Off to the Ice Palace. See if they'll let me in. Well, it's technically where the statue moves is where it limits. Yeah, oh, yeah. you're virus. I am virus. Weird. Again, very early Digimon. Back dimension. This is it. This is the secret place. All right, cool. What kind of place is this? <laughs> Thanks. See, I am in the back of this place. I think it just haphazardly throws a few... Oh, and there's new treasures. A ray gun! Wow! I think that oh, probably digivolves you into Vatamon. It does, which is actually really convenient for Digidex completion. Yeah, fair. Because Vatamon is a pain in the dick to try and get naturally. Is he one of the, like, special routes? Yes. And it's... In a it's extremely difficult to naturally get. Huh. Fair enough. Uh, hold on, I'll read it to you. You do that while I slowly punch my way through this guy. I find that. Suck it, Ice Devimon. Oh, there it is. 50% probability exists of Digivolving into Vatamon after 360 hours elapse as a champion form Digimon. Well then. That is a reasonable amount over a typical life expectancy of a champion, by the way. Yeah. And then you still only have a 50-50 shot. Correct. Your, your other shot is that you'll just die. Correct. <laughs> so if... So theoretically... B's best chance of digivolving was to somehow survive long enough to turn into a Vedemon with a 50-50 chance of doing so. Correct. Also, take a look at the ray gun in your inventory. This might be another situation of um, translation error. Oh. Okay, I can take a look. Did the name magically change on you? No, still Raygun? He's still Raygun. Interesting, because my book says it's supposed to be a bean gun. Interesting. Oh well. So that's where I came in. There you go. That's where that's, you want to go. That's weird. I thought I... Oh, that's just the treasure. Okay. Yeah, so... You just need to pay attention to what color you come out of and just go in the opposite. Not fair. Um... Hot... Oh, Blue Marimon. I'm just like, what the heck is this wireframe, motherfucker? Okay. Yeah. So... It's getting a lot of the Digimon from the Ice Palace thrown in here. Ah, uh, that's fair, I suppose. That's not super convenient for me, mind you, because yeah. they don't have anything I can learn. Uh, you might want to just reorganize your inventory while you're waiting. You know what? No. No. Buttons are hard. Buttons are hard. Uh, let's just rearrange for battle. That's a weird way of doing it, but okay. I guess that works. Yeah. Also, I kind of get not wanting to really mess with the large ones until boss battle. Yeah. That's kind of what I was feeling. I suppose Marimon should also have fire moves that I should be able to learn. Yeah, I think there might be one or two you can learn from it. Nothing that you'd want a gun for, though. Yeah. Just happy coincidences. Oh, hey. Defense chip. Oh, boy. I know where that's going. 
Oh boy, we have more steroids, Tim. I mean... <laughs> uh... What? Apparently I'm gonna beg for my life. Um... Interesting. This is auto happening, by the way. That's unfortunate. That's a new one. You can mash the... Ha! Okay. I might have to autopilot out of this. <laughs> I mean... Sure. It's the only way I'm going to be able to get out of this. Yeah. I. It won't let me move fast enough to get out. You know what? Uh, hang on. Now that I know I can go to this menu, I'm going to try buffer moving. Because he won't fight me. Mm -hmm. He won't just actually fight... Uh, no. I should just... I'll have to autopilot and just come back, which is unfortunate. What happens if you feed your Digimon something? What does it do to its movement? Okay, I was I was thinking it might just start randomly running about, trying to reach you. I think you need autopilot. Yeah. All right. Well, that's... It's not perfect. We found a bug. Now oh, he's uh... just with me in the city. God. <laughs> yeah, back up there at least. Might as well deposit a bunch of stuff in the bank while you're here. You know what? You're not wrong. For all those chests you may or may not care about. Alright, oh, well, I guess I might as well just grab these. Yeah. Uh. Let's deposit these and that and that. Keep those. I just leave. You're fine. Yeah. Well, you got more than enough space. Have some more, uh, have some more steroids, friend, because we need to go and fly some more. We'll uh, meet you back where we were. Except hopefully this time we won't get stunlocked into a glitch. Yeah. Yeah, you run away. All right, round two. This time with less soft locking, I hope. Yeah, or let's pseudo soft locking. Let's see what we can do here. Just so uh, I'm just gonna walk by you and see if there's another guy that I can just can I draw you into a fight nearby. No. No. Wait, where's my teleport? Just right below you. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. You might be able to learn some moves from Tekamon. Oh, maybe. He is a machine. No promises, but... More like no promise. Just just took that, huh? Yep. He's just gonna... I like how... Uh, yeah, I caught that too. Bye, treasure. It doesn't want to deal with the prominence beam. It's not putting up with my crap. But is it going to respawn in after the... Okay. We ended the battle with it existing. We're fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. This is the glitch zone, after all. Apparently. And he dropped a special defense disc. But okay. no new moves. I mean, you can use that uh, during boss fight, I guess. Just going to not deal with... Uh, just going to not get that treasure. Hey. You can max out MP. Or almost max out MP. Yeah, because it's only 500, but still, should be pretty close. I think it'll be like 100 off. And he needs to poop. It's all those steroids. Yeah. No! That was an autopilot! Oh no. Oh, god damn it. We'll be right back, everyone. <sighs> be right back.
Alright. Take fucking three. I'm just gonna skip you. See if I can bait you out here. Ha! Oh, I thought you were going for the Maramon. I might I was considering it, and then I decided no. Fair. Bait you out. Congrats, you dodged the biggest pain in the ass. Got an offense chip that's useless to me. Oof. Got a tank. tank mon. Which I don't think will have anything useful. I don't think I care. <laughs> Just tired of it all. Again. Oh, and we're in the ice sanctuary. All right, we've made it to the end. Um, hi. Hello. Uh, it's you again. Analog man. He's back. You, are you really oh, serious about this? Oh, and he's gone. So, I believe the point here being is he is now kind of fragmented and barely a part of the world anymore. This is just kind of like an echo of him. I was going to say that his, like, whatever remains of him is kind of just stuck in his machine. Kind of. And in too. this form, or I suppose I should say machine drum on. Yeah, so optional fight is basically a machine drum on refight, but more so. Notice how we're taking dealing and taking about equivalent damage with, like, double the stats we went in with. Yeah. I'm just gonna move over to the larges. You're, uh, um, going to buff up? We are both now max buffed. So that move is the all laser one I was telling you about. Yeah. Pretty decent. Pretty good. This I've used it in previous runs. It's a solid move. At this point, I feel like I kind of have to use DG Dimension because it's only doing 600 damage. Yeah. He's buffing himself. This boy does not like taking damage. Oh, speaking of damage. Preemptively throw this. And use yours in turn? Maybe? Yeah. You can finally see what it is. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. That did not look at all like a claw, like I was informed by its title. You know, not everything has to make sense. Yeah, his attack is faster than mine. All of his attacks are faster than mine. That's yet okay. it doesn't seem to matter. Because I have item spam. He does not. There was never a question on if we were going to win or not. Yeah, that's fair. It was just getting to him. Yeah, so Well, I'll wait to I'll wait till we hit the end before really going into explanation mode. As there are a few things. Oh good shot. Hey! Totally intentional. Completely. 100%. So almost done. Can I punch him? I punched him down. Nice. <laughs> Finish with the punchies. Yata. Yata. A well earned 9999 bits. <laughs> And to go with my 9999 MP and my 999 offense. And no stack gains, basically. I did it somehow. It's called item spam. Oh, oh it, and he's uh, just gone. Gone. What's this? And now you're here. I passed out and. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so that Machine Dramon was a Snow Agumon that got forcibly digivolved into Machine Dramon. Well then, Curse of the Analog Man. Yeah, which is really interesting foreshadowing to the sequel. Huh. But I'll let you figure that out in your own front. Ah, fair enough. Now, when you say sequel, just for verification, do you mean World 
two, or do you mean uh, the like actual sequel? The sequel actual to this sequel, game? sequel, sequel. Which to I think style is World play. Four. No, <laughs> World Four is a beat 'em up. Oh, a dungeon crawling beat 'em up. Oh, continuing the trend of nothing's allowed to be the same. Talk to Gigi Mon. Well then. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was that good. Fair um, enough. What's up, Gigi? Beat Machine Dramon! It's the curse of Analog Man. This grudge is so strong. Well, maybe we can have peace now. But if he returns, I can beat him up again! Yeah. He grew in our meat farm! A chained melon? Yeah, so a few things to explain. Uh, Machine Dramon does come back. I think it's like somewhere between 15 and 25 days before the dungeon respawns. Okay. So it takes a decent bit. Um, as for Chain Melon, that's one of the best items in the game. Uh, because it extends your Digimon's lifespan by a day. Interesting. I would recommend not using it. Not that it really matters. Yeah. That's what you use when you're trying to get Vitamon. <laughs> well, you know, there's a few uses for it. But largely it's just the good boy lasts longer. Fair enough. But... That's Digimon World, and just about everything that you can really experience outside of the uh, hellscape that is 100%ing. Yeah, which, God, like, okay, let, let's get out of this here real quick, just to sh show some things. Because, uh, obviously our Tamer level is not max, so I think it maxes at 10? Uh, 9 or 10, somewhere or 10. around there. Uh, well, let me see. We have a whole lot of Digimon that we have not trained at all now mind you we should have had four champions on there not three but details yeah wait what the heck is this it's dur oh it is dur dur is really small indeed and yeah he could have become that so this is also kind of lets you know what things could have been uh he had a whole bunch of things they actually should all have a whole bunch of things. Indeed. Apparently, a lot of which are Dagonamon. <laughs> I mean, I think those are the only three Digimon that uh, could have turned into Tyranimon. Uh, yes. Yeah, those yes, are the indeed. only three that could turn into it. Well, then. Go our, figure. Our game was kind of geared to Tyranimon, unfortunately. And yet, yeah, this one can only turn into that. Fair enough. Yeah. You actually had a couple of things that you could be. But, anyway. And then, of course, the medals. Yeah. Uh, medals, we have a whole ton of medals that... Lord Fift only knows. Fifteen medals, we have found two. Like, I'm sure that there's one for getting every one of every card in the game. Yeah. Uh, there's probably one for filling out your chart, your Digimon chart. Probably one for getting learning all the moves. Probably one for all the moves. It's just a But then there's still thing. a whole lot more medals. Probably one for maxing your tamer level as yeah, well. I'm sure. I'm kind of surprised we didn't get one for... Oh, wait. No, we did get one for getting all of the residents. Yeah. Also, the, all the medals have little details on them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This GG one's face. This one's... Uh, Machine Dramon. Machine Dramon. Cards we never even came close to, but yeah, <sighs> decent progress. Decent progress. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for Digimon. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did, as this is a good game to revisit every now and again. And I guess we never did use that defense disc. Eh, oh, well. who needs it? Well, we will see you guys tomorrow with. Not that. Oh, whatever. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow with something else. All right. Catch you all then.